Jason, do you remember yeah. 2012? <laughs> Oh, God, do I? Oh, what a simpler time. You, uh, well, My hair wasn't gray. You yeah. had hair. Yeah. It was amazing. Yeah, all of our hair was different in 2012. Well, in 2012, Dragon's Dogma came out, and you and I played it back when we were sharing one microphone in your living room. Uh, now we've got Zoom, and we've got the PCs, and we've got <laughs> AI, and, and there's a new Dragon's Dogma. Uh so yeah, we're gonna check it out. Welcome back to Dojo, buddy. I'm Jeff. I'm Jason. Uh, Jason, I don't know if you're familiar, but this game has a lot of controversy uh, due to it running kind of like butt, a little bit like butt. So if it runs it like run butt, that's not my fault. I I saw somewhere that people were just wholesale slaughtering NPCs to make it run better. Yeah, part of this is that it's got these really complicated NPCs, and so every one of them takes a little bit of CPU time, and so killing all of the NPCs apparently makes the game run better. <laughs> I'm just like, wow. Wait, what is this? See, this you guys need to run with that. <laughs> run with that and just have, hey, this game will run better the more people you murder. Have Wait, a ball. Who's Honor de Balzac? That's a made-up name. That's a that that's is, made up. <laughs> it, it is. It's a totally. It's not. <laughs> honor de Balzac. Come on. You honor. That's a rage select character. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's like that's like one of John John Marsden's horses or something. I think that's Loretta's uncle. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at these jaunty Game of Thrones ass motherfuckers. Jason, would you ever want to live in medieval times? Oh, hell no. Yeah. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. That just seems so inconvenient. <laughs> just the poop. There's... The poop had to be everywhere. Oh, like... The poop. The poop, man. Without a true That's the, the diseases. And the dysentery, mm -hmm. and man, you think people are stupid and superstitious now? <laughs> Good God! All right. So, do you do you remember the first Dragon's Dogma, Jason? Is that run, children? I don't know. Uh, Maybe I have a vague. I have a very vague memory of our playthrough. Mm -hmm. Real vague. Uh, <laughs> It was there's a lot of character creation. We made a, we made an old man with pigtails. We named him after Pertuxen. Uh, and That's a, right. A yeah. dragon, like a dragon, showed up and took the heart out of our chest, like he ate our heart. That's right. Yep. Long time ago. Yeah. Long time ago. Yep. Oh my goodness. So, that's the problem with this one. Is it runs bad? Is that, yeah. That's their end? It, 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 well, there's also this thing with microtransactions. They're selling a bunch of dumb shit. It's like, you remember when they put out that Deus Whoa. Ex game and uh, they were selling like the upgrade kits that would just like, if you bought them, it would break the game. It's kind of stuff like that where like, I don't get the impression that the game is tuned to make you want to buy them. But Capcom is like, if you're a dumbass, you can get these if you, if you feel like it. <laughs> Wait, is this us? Are we the king? You, I guess so. Oh, well, hello. <laughs> Get ready to do my bidding. We're, we just inherited the Draken Throne. Wow, cool. I always wanted a Draken Chosen, Throne. Chosen by the dragon as its enemy. That part sounds less cool. Actually, you know what? I always wanted a Dokken Throne, not a Draken Throne. <laughs> oh, yeah. I just wanted I, the bad Dokken to form themselves into a chair for me to sit on. <laughs> and I, I will stand by your side as you're... As uh, as your dream warriors, it's like the Dora Milaje, <laughs> but with more hairspray. <laughs> it's the opposite, and, and their hair—they've got opposite hair from the Dora Milaje. <laughs> yes. Also, the dream warriors kind of suck. Yeah. Let's Whoa. be honest. Uh oh. Oh shit! This is, uh, look for. Is this, is this uh, your 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 awareness? from Assassin's Creed. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, we're in detective vision. We got to find out who murdered somebody. Oh shit, it's everyone. Everyone mark, murdered somebody. <laughs> mark mark your targets before you run out of cocaine mode. Oh no. I can already feel it wearing off. I ask Okay. What's happening here? I think a uh, I think the Hawaiian punch was laced. <laughs> Somebody lace the punch. I'm fucked up. This is just me last night about 2 a.m. 
try to <laughs> fall it down on the ground. Like, oh, what have I done? Oh, the arisen. Oh, no. Oh. Man. If I had a nickel for every time I got crowned as king and then fucked it up by getting too drunk. <laughs> I'd have two nickels, which isn't a I'd lot. Have but two <laughs> nickels. But still, it's weird that it happened. Okay, so that guy's got like a... Is he the king of the Jolly Ranchers? Is that what's going on here? He's got like the cherry watermelon. That looks amazing. Yeah. I would... They should They should sell just like, honestly, ridiculous staves like that that's just candy. All right, Jason. It's time. Oh, okay. It's time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this game came out with a character creator. And uh, this game, I don't know if you know this, Jason, but... A lot of games have very restrictive character creators that don't allow you to have a very specific type of race. This is not one of those games. And so I spent like three days doing this. <laughs> and it was yes. it was hard. Most games yes. you will not you will not believe how many games do not have cat people in them. <laughs> this game has cat people, and so our boy has finally crossed out of Skyrim and into another world full of shit and garbage. Meow. Yep, here he is. Yeah. So, yeah, here we go. Uh, I, you have to put in a moniker, which I think is how people see you online, and so I, you know, I figured if anything. Oh, sure. Yeah. Um, also, well, I think, didn't, didn't we say at one point that Gary was short for Garfieldius? I d dude, we say a lot of shit. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. In in episode... <laughs> uh, so yeah. here's another weird thing, Jason. Um, this age thing goes up to 999. So mm -hmm. I need you as the as the keeper of the lore to tell me how old Mr. Field Mr. Fieldius is. Uh, oh, it, it, you, you, you go all the way up to 999. It's got to be Max. He, he is... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Garfieldius is legend, uh, 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 like uh, like Darth Plagueis the Wise. They, okay. they tell they they whisper about him in operas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well then let's go. Did you hear the legend of Garfieldius? You know what, what's you know what's also really funny is that like I kept thinking about it and I was like, I, like that look in your eyes. I might actually play this game with Garfieldius. <laughs> like usually yeah. I like to keep him, but. Wait, I'm not a pawn. You're a pawn. You're a queen's bishop. Jolly Rancher ass. <laughs> your staff looks delicious, sir. <laughs> What's your favorite red Jolly Rancher? Watermelon. Watermelon? There you go. Yeah. So I, I, I buy, do you know they sell bags of just the red Jolly Ranchers? They do? Uh, yeah. And I bought one, and I leave it here at, at the Rage Select studio, and everybody comes over, and uh, all the, they all pick out all the strawberry. They only take the straw. There's like fruit punch and watermelon and cherry, and all they take are the strawberry ones. So, I mean, the strawberry ones are good. What, what, what's your favorite one? Uh, I don't know. I like cherry. Uh, maybe fruit Cherry, punch. Good. I like fruit Cherry, punch. Yeah. I mean, they're all amazing. See, that's the thing. Why would you get Jolly Ranchers? It's all just one flavor because they're all great. Yeah. There is not a bad Jolly Rancher flavor. I don't know, man. I have to be in the mood. Except for, one for of those, scab. Like <laughs> the, the scab flavor ones. You want to avoid those. I mean, you know, I like. OK, listen, like pus is a sometimes one, right? Like sometimes. Oh, I can do pus all the time. Oh, OK. Well, you know, that's yeah. the difference between <laughs> That's why we're I, so so good at this show is because with the dichotomy between yeah. the <laughs> I love sucking on a pus flavor Jolly Rancher. Wow. It gets me it gets me hyped. <laughs> yeah, it does something to me. Some wait, people some people they say, Yo, oh, don't get me near tequila. Oh shit, me? wait. That's pus flavor Jolly Rancher. That's that the, drives me wild. That's the thing. So listen, at the end of the first uh at the end of the first Dragon's Crown, like mm -hmm. uh after yeah. you beat like the dragon this giant like coliseum sprouts up in the middle of the city and then you have to do like another third of the game where you go through it and you fight i'm pretty sure you fight god at the end i'm not i can't don't quote me on that but i'm pretty sure that you well, end up amazing. fighting god <laughs> i might have to go back and play dragon's dogma break out my what ps2 what was that play it on the pc man runs great like PC? you can buy it for okay. five dollars uh yeah. 
not anger the overseer. Let us proceed. So we, were we were, were we having like a dream that we were the king or we were the king? I'm I'm unclear. We're now we're in like you know the the bane pit. <laughs> right uh, like were we set up yeah like were, were we, we the king and then they're like oh and now we've turned you into the sexy cat person and put you down in the dungeon yeah uh like, like i what, don't know what's yeah what's this turkey let's take i want one of those candy staffs pick up a boulder i think we have to oh we're working in the pits yep we're we're uh they put us in the in the in the in the mines no. Uh, no. Let's see. Light your lantern. Okay. Oh, I remember that. You know, the first one of these started out with a really cool fight with a manticore, and in this one, I'm like, what? Care, ma'am, ma'am, ma that that right. was not. Oh, well, oh, yeah. that Best I can do is slave labor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, it, this also is the game where you can grab people, like um, like you can just grab a dude and throw him. Uh, it's pretty oh. cool. <laughs> All right, so let's put. You know, you know how Garfieldius feels about throwing people. <laughs> well, we got verbs we never had in Skyrim. All right, there you go. Well now the next step is to. What? Take the boulder somewhere else. <laughs> now move the boulder over there. Oh, uh oh. Okay, finally, good. Woo! This commotion. Perhaps we ought to investigate. Why? I thought. Is, is, is this the McFarlane mine is where this, we have to do chores all day? Is this like a co-op? Do I own a part of this mine? Like, why do I care what happens? I appear to be like yeah. slave labor, not like I'm, management. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go over here and lick my butthole for a few minutes until this blows over. <laughs> I'm going to contact my union rep. Whoa! Until something. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, hello. This is age gate, this thing. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. No, Jason, there's no nips, so it's fine. As long as there's no pepperoni. The pizza can be shown. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that uh, I'm okay. Uh, <laughs> did you see how those how the uh, the the stonification worked? I did. I did. They didn't even have to look. She just hit them with with Cyclops to stone beam. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Speaking of Cyclops, you watching that? Uh, you watch that X Men '97? <laughs> That's my man. That's my man. So there it is. There you Finally go. getting the respect he deserves. All right, I know what to do with this. Murder everyone but the Hydra or but the Medusa. <laughs> <laughs> How shall I serve you, O oh, Queen? Okay, ah, get up. Okay, uh, let's climb up to this head. Uh, man, uh, we're gonna make some Medusa boots. Whoop! Oh, hello. Is she what, what? What is she called? Actually, I mean, does she have a name? It just there's. I think is she Medusa. I think she's just like a Medusa, or like a if, Gorgon, or if I remember correctly, one of the big things from Dragon's Dogma is like, um, is like they just kind of put all the monsters. Oh shit! <laughs> Oof. Well, um, can't say I didn't see that one coming. Like, yeah. Let's see. They've got like because I was watching a trailer and they've got like like golems and werewolves and zombies and all kinds of like griffins and uh yeah. like just just a smorgasbord of your of your fiend folio yeah all right give me all right. and take it's kratos sir ah! right. hey, there we go Get, ah! man ah! now now bridle her <laughs> and ride a Medusa as your steed. Oh, go. oh, God. oh man. Oh, Somebody's going to steal that because it's pretty much the greatest video game idea ever. Mm -hmm. If you're listening and you're a raid select diehard and you're into game development, uh -oh. do it. Just do like, it. You, ride, have, you have our permission. Ride the Medusa. It sounds... Oh, oh. Riding a Medusa using... Her gaze as a as a as a ranged weapon. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah! I think there needs to be more Medusas. I think there needs to be more Medusas in uh, in in fiction in general. I've always loved Medusas. Okay. Ever since what Clash of the Titans, it freaked me the fuck right out when I was a kid. <laughs> Garfield, just close your mouth. <laughs> <It's> like, <"Ahh." laughs> I know it's. it's Gee. Oh shit! What is this uncomfortable look on your face that you have the whole like this weird Clint East Anakin? <laughs> it's 
fucking hate Christensen, dude. Oh, he's, yeah. he's Darth Vader. <laughs> he's Darth Vader. He's here. We gotta get the fuck out of here. He's Darth Vader. Hide the younglings. <laughs> I owe him. I owe him a lot of money. And also hide the youngling. <laughs> like both. <laughs> <laughs> what is what? Uh, what is he drunkenly did? posted on his on his TikTok? Oh, what? Did he hypnotize that guy? Con Sarnet. What? Is this guy like an old timey sheriff? <laughs> Them Duke boys are getting away. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Gosh darn it. <laughs> All right. We, we got to get out. We're okay. Let's escape. 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 Wee. Uh, Anakin, this seems like a bad idea. Is that just like a cliff? Jump off a... Okay, I guess. Whee! It's like, guess what? <laughs> Garfieldius is a Jedi. Yep. Or owes money to Jedi. I, or I, I, maybe maybe had uh, relations with uh, a Jedi's uh, significant other. You know, in, in his, his dimension hopping multiverse adve multiversal adventures, Garfieldius got into the the high guardian uh, timeline of, of Star Wars and became a very prominent spice dealer for the Huts. Got, yes. got a lot of Jedis hooked on that spice. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Wait, what? Why is there... This is a griffin? Are we on that griffin? I mean, this, oh, like we don't have enough problems already, and then this thing shows up? It seems friendly. Like, oh, it's letting us ride it away to freedom, so. That's pretty cool. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> but we leave. We left Anakin. He's a force ghost. Look at how blue he is. Yeah, he's fine. He'll be okay. Why are all the O's in the subtitles tilted? It's very weird. It's weirding me out, and now that I've seen it, I can't unsee it. Why did Luke Skywalker die because he got tired, Jeff? <laughs> I don't know, man. If I was Luke Skywalker, I'd be tired of that bullshit, too. <laughs> Just like... Ah. <laughs> fucking... Uh. All right. Wait, where's the two? There should be a two. This is I know. I noticed that. <laughs> it, it, was, it was not on the uh, opening screen, either. I was very confused. Oh, okay. Wait, what? Why do we? Why are we stopping for this nonsense? Yeah, are you just stopping to get shot with arrows? Come on, Buckbeak, you're better than this. <laughs> Buckbeak. Wee! Yeah, look at all those. Look at all those. Look at how they're tilted. <laughs> like just that one. That one character is weird That's and messed weird. up. I don't know. I don't know. What's What's your? Yeah, I don't. I don't appreciate it. <laughs> what's your What's your favorite uh, uh, mythical steed? Mythical flying steed. Flying steed? Or just any steed. Mythical steed. I don't know. Flying I, or otherwise. I like Is a nightmare. I like a, I like them nightmares, kind of ghost rider, but with, oh shit. Okay. Sandworm. Uh, sandworm. Those are pretty cool. I don't think a sphinx would let you ride it though, right? Like they're, you know, they're pretty sentient, so. Yeah. That'd be pretty cool. Whee! I don't know if that's a thing. I'd like a. I'd like to have a. a Not oh, cool. Okay. Not cool. I'd like to have a sphinx just so that, like, you know, I could talk to my, my pet. <laughs> I mean, if he's asking me riddles and shit, but like, you know, cool sphinx. Not like a, like gonna kill you sphinx. Okay. Yeah, they creep me out, man. I don't know, like sphinx and. Lama Sioux and a lot of the old like Sumerian mythology you start looking at that stuff and it's uh it's very unsettling. I mean, I don't know. One of my one of my like horror points that, that gets under my skin as I've realized is mm -hmm. taking something and putting a kind of human face on it. <laughs> <laughs> but that's everything, right? Cars like, have weird human faces on the front of them. Cars, yeah. sphinxes, mm -hmm. Mike Pence. <laughs> Garfieldius. <laughs> Garfieldius. You know, the character creator in this game, Jason, is so detailed that you can remove individual teeth. Like, it gives you a screen where you can see all of the teeth. What? Oh, no. What happened? The right. Jolly well, Ranchers have followed us. <laughs> Please keep your distance. Yeah, don't worry. I'm not going anywhere near whatever shit show you found yourself in. Oh, okay. What? Oh, is he a, he's a pawn. 
Um, okay, he's a pawn. Uh, so one of the big things in this game, in this universe, is that there's these, like, these, these things called pawns, and they're just, like, people, but they're not people. They, like, they serve the Arisen without fail. They're, like, warriors, and, like, they're around normally, but most people can't really get them to be very effective, but the Arisen can control them and make them, like, very, very powerful, so... Uh, now you stand before who are who are you, you weird close your mouth what's <laughs> is it you then why is everybody is just on its back that's did, did your you parents survive. or adults or you whatever ever tell you, you when you were a kid you close your mouth you're letting day. flies in yes okay, uh good. yeah was it just me good <laughs> okay <laughs> Uh, so I should mention really briefly that I'm running this on a, um, uh, there's been a lot of question about the performance in this game and it's possible it doesn't run like at a really solid frame rate, but I'm running this on a, uh, 3060, which is a little bit, you know, one generation back in the video card stuff mm -hmm. and I'm running it without any RTX or any, uh, DLSS or any of that stuff turned on. And when I was messing with it, it seems like it doesn't run at 60 frames per second, but it runs like close, like it runs between 45 and 60, depending on how many jerks there are on the screen. So, okay. uh, on the PlayStation, it runs like kind of 30 frames per second, real choppy all the time. Um, oh shit. Goblins. I'm going to get them. I'm going to get them. Do it. Ooh, Do it. Do your bitch. thing. Watch Ooh. and learn, everybody. Wait, you know what? They're oh, fucking oh, at. Why are you not Garfield helping me, like you ass? <laughs> What's Garfelius' theme song? I like to think it's. Oh, I like to geez. think it's. It's some. Uh, something funky. Is it November Rain by Guns N' Roses? <laughs> there you go. That's what it is. Oh shit! Wait. Oh. Okay. I was I was trying to think of something like uh, I don't know maybe some Anderson Pack or mm -hmm. uh, you know or yeah some some disco maybe come no, here. it's November rain you you no god damn it okay I'm gonna grab this motherfucker you come here nope damn it oh hey cool <laughs> they got friendly okay. fire friendly fire will be tolerated uh, that, is, that man, that's handy glad this guy's stepping up yep. You're a, ah, ah, God, I suck at this. <laughs> you're getting you're getting a little donked up there, Whoa. Garf. Okay. Can't, here, come here. I want to give you a hug. No, nope. all right. Ah, no, no. Okay, Man. I don't want to die. Uh, Maybe you should have gotten a projectile weapon. <laughs> or learn. Yeah, I guess Garfieldius has never been real big on magic, has he? So here's the thing. I actually looked at it, and what we're gonna, what we're actually gonna do here today, because I played a bunch of this before, which is why I'm so good at this game, uh, that nobody can tell that I'm about to die. Um, oh, really? I don't have any greenware-ish? Okay, well then just eat these apples. It'll be enough health to get to where we're going. Um, we are we are gonna try to unlock the warrior job. Like that's gonna be our main thing today um because that is what allows you to get a uh, a giant fuck off gut style two-handed sword yeah um, and coincidentally you stop trying to block and fucking fucking fuck off um uh coincidentally also the starting equipment for that is a big horned helmet so like Yes. <laughs> Hell yes. Uh, they, they don't have it from the start, but it's pretty, it's one of the first things that happens in the game. So uh, let's go ahead and loot some of this stuff. So this is a really weird kind of archaic, like outdated <laughs> RPG. It's almost like, I don't know the producer that made this, like why they let him do it. <laughs> um, it, it, it. Well, it feels a little last gen, mm -hmm. right? Uh, I, I mean, I honestly, I so it's cool so far. It's just odd that everything is so like. What's a good compare? Like almost uh, even more narrow than say like Dragon's Age. Mm -hmm. You know what do you mean narrow? Like as far as your rather than open world, the map seems designed like here's a bunch of channels you go to, mm -hmm. like uh, you know directed paths. Oh hey, what's up? I could be way off base on this. Uh, no, actually, I think you're you're very much on base. Like one of the big things is that 
the first game and this game have like very, very, very limited fast travel. So the game wants to encourage you to like kind of old school RPG, like you're gonna walk from one area to the next and then on the way you're gonna encounter monsters mm -hmm. and adventures mm -hmm. and get in trouble. Um, yeah. So like one of the things that they sell in the microtransaction store are these crystals that you could put down in the world that basically create like a fast travel point. And so people are like, they locked fast travel behind microtransactions. But like, you can only have 10 of those at a time and the game gives them to you. Like, it's not like the only way to get them is to buy them. So even if you were to buy like a hundred of them, you could still only have 10 at a time. Um, so here we're summoning our main pawn. Uh, we, we get one pawn, we can have up to three, and we basically get one that's always with us, that's like, that grows as our companion and is pretty pivotal to the story if it's anything like the first one. And then we also can hire out other pawns from like other players, like it uploads your pawn to this server and everybody can like pull them down. Um, so I thought that we should use Bertuxen, uh, who was basically <laughs> an old man with makeup and pigtails uh, as our pawn. Uh, he's very sad. So, <laughs> And uh, his moniker is Bitey Face because, I don't know, I looked through all the stuff and it was like, that's, that sounds great. That's great. That so, sounds wonderful. Uh, Good to see you again, Bertuxen. Yep. <laughs> But the thing is that it's very strange because he's very chatty. Like your pawns, they talk all the time. They have conversations with each other and stuff. So I don't know. Like, do you get multiple pawns? Yeah. You have your one primary and then you can hire two more. And like the biggest thing, or yeah, you can hire two other ones. The big thing here is that your pawn will level up, but the other pawns that you bring in won't. So you have to keep like dismissing them and then getting some new ones and you could get like different ones if you need like more magic power for a quest or whatever um and this is pretty big because only the arisen can summon a pawn um, I don't know what these motherfuckers do when the Arisen isn't telling them what to do. They just stand around. <laughs> <laughs> Got a whole world full of people that just stand in the corner, like paranormal activity style, not moving. The Watchhead would know what to do, I'm sure. Though, as luck would have it, he's away. I like that they refer to uh, Garfieldius as the Arisen. Mm -hmm. He looks so good. He looks good, right? Like, uh, he does. He's looking solid. I'm not. I'm not just doing. I'm not just no, like fishing for for uh, compliments there. No, like it's been a while no. messing around with this. I showed him to <laughs> other people. I was like, got screenshots. He reinstalled Skyrim. All that bullshit. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you got the mohawk and everything. Yeah, I was sad that they didn't have a taller mohawk because his one in um, in. Uh, Skyrim kind of goes all the way to the back. It's like a brush. It's like a Roman. Yeah. Right. 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 Like the top mm -hmm. of the head. And there was some limits as far as the uh, as far as the mohawk Hail. was concerned. What? Pray. Ask all you wish to know. Man, I don't need to. I don't need to know this. Get out of here. Shoot later. Yeah. You know what Now's I need? Now's not the time. I need armor. <laughs> I need uh, equipment. <laughs> oh, actually, no. I need to rest. So tell me, what, what's up? Uh, what, what are your thoughts on all the uh, microtransactions that everybody was complaining about uh, on this? So he, here's the thing. I think that I don't have a problem ignoring microtransactions, Jason. Like, I even, even when they're pushed in my face, I generally don't have a problem just being like, uh, no, I spent $70 on this game. No, I'm not going to buy them. Um, so, like, I wasn't even aware that there were microtransactions until I started seeing, like, the internet freak out about it. Um, and then when I went and looked then, at them... All the review bombing. And, I, yeah, I looked at it and it didn't seem that bad, right? Uh, well, uh, and so the thing is that... Okay, so here's, here's what I will say. If, um, if a game is designed to be irritating as a way to funnel you to buy a microtransaction, that I disagree with and I hate right uh but if it's just a game where like they may i get the impression that this game was made and then capcom told them well you have to sell something because like the same guy the guy that made this he also made devil may cry 5 and in that game it was like you could buy the red orbs that were just kind of like the currency 
off of the Capcom store. But like yeah. doing that would just ruin your game. So I don't know. Part of it is probably because, you know, I, I'm not going to pay for microtransactions almost ever. Like, it takes a lot to get me to buy bullshit Same. microtransactions. So yeah. it doesn't really bother me. I'm like, that's bad, and I don't like it. Like, I'd rather they not be there, but I still can play this game and then just not engage with that system. I don't know. Yeah, uh, same. It, you know how much you know Call of Duty I was playing. I haven't played it in a while, but man, speaking of microtransactions, right, and all the cosmetics and everything, it doesn't really affect gameplay like some of the guns do. You know. Yeah. But like, man, as much as I wanted that Leatherface skin, and they're like, okay, you're not going to give us money for that? Mm -hmm. What about Skeletor? You want to run around looking and sounding like Skeletor? And you're like, oh. It's like, goddamn right I do. How much is it? $10. Well, you can go fuck yourself. You can just straight up yep. go fuck yourself. I, I, don't, I don't do uh, microtransactions ever, 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 ever. Um, unless... Uh, Unless it's on a free to play game, like, and I want, like, okay, sure. so, like, and the game is, like, driven by that. Like, hey, do you want to play as Iron Fist? Oh, talking about a, a specific ah, that this guy. Okay, this happens all the time. These are pawns that are asking if you want to take them with you. So, like, you could see this guy, he's level three, he's calm, he's a he's a warrior, he's level one, and I just, like, I actually was going to this to get some pawns because we need, we'd like to have a full party, like, there's no reason not to. But then, like, this pretty boy and this lady both walked up and they were like, hey, can I come with you? And I was like, uh, yeah, I guess. Because we're going to go fight some harpies, and so I need a, a an archer. It's like going to the mall and they're here, hand lotion. Turn his hand, your, your hands. You gotta turn the hand lotion. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Like I, the thing is that if the game was bad and the microtransactions made the game bad, then that would be one thing. But if I can ignore them, um, then like, I still have a good time and it doesn't feel like you're missing out. Yeah, uh, then it's fine. Uh, right. or like, is, right. is it, it like obviously, if you gave me control over the world, I would say like, nah, bro, let's not. But wait. Old, what are you doing? Oh, shit. They're <laughs> goblins. <laughs> ah! Raining goblins. Um, but, uh, but, you know, if it's... Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Ooh, that's a lot of blood. Um, get some, Garfelius. But if... Uh, yeah. So that's Meow. that's what I think of it. Like, I, I was watching... I was reading people complain about on Reddit. I think that the more egregious thing is the performance, because this is running on the RE engine, and the RE engine is usually very, like... It's it's a good engine. Like, it, it has a lot of detail, and it runs fairly well for most games. Um... I don't think it was ever meant for an open world game like this, so I think it chugs a little bit in that. And then I think that, uh. like, the fact that, like, this person over here is a pawn, right? And they're just out here in the world doing their thing and doing AI. A lot of the characters in the game are pawns. And so I think that the reason that it chugs a lot, in, in when you get, especially in cities, is because you've got all of these pawns that the game is trying to figure out the AI on all at once. And mm. so it's starting to do all of those calculations in the background, and then that ends up slowing the game down. Bertuxin, how did you get so wet? Oh, you were, I swear you were wet a second ago. Um, <laughs> you had the Marty McFly jacket. Yeah. Your jacket is now dry. Okay, so we got some harpies. So I played this part enough times that I can tell you that um, we we got a we got a quest where they were like, we sent Jenkins out on patrol, and they're like, oh no, Jenkins sucks. Will you will you go check and make sure that Jenkins <laughs> didn't die? So that's what we're out here doing. But the problem here is that as a melee fighter, I am really not prepared to fight flying harpies, uh, which is why I was absolutely sure to bring a an archer with me. Ah, gotcha. It's too bad you can't, like, I mean, you can't be a cat man and just snatch these birds out of the sky with a, a leap and a claw. Well, you eventually get, so we haven't done any of the leveling up yet, um, but the one of the skills you get when you level up is actually a big jumping attack that, like, that does exactly what you just said, that, like, Sweet. shoots you up into the sky, so. You have my thanks. I do not believe for a, a moment. A cardo. He's a cardo. 
I've only just enlisted, and when I thought this could be the end of <laughs> what is he out there having a poo? What's going on? <laughs> he just got real scared. He's a scaredy boy. Um, I'll be sure to let my superiors know of your good deed. Damn right. So, okay, so we're going to go back, and we're going to get our reward, and then we're going to head to the uh, the first kind of big, um, uh, like, city center. So, uh, but yeah, I, I don't know. I, I think, I also think that, like, <sighs> see, I don't know. This is something I would be interested to know what you think, Jason, is, um, you know that thing that happened a lot in the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 era where a game would come out and it would just barely acceptably run on the current generation hardware? Yes. Even like PCs, even souped up PCs would just barely run a thing. And then like four, five years later when you got a new system, you got a PS Pro, you got a, a new PC with a banging video card. You would go back and install that game and be like, oh, it runs great now. Like, I'm glad yeah. I waited to play it. <laughs> right. I kind of feel like we're getting into that area where some of these games, like, um, are going to run really good in, like, five years. <laughs> oh, wow. What others are you seeing like that? Uh, like, you like know, crisis, basically, I, is what's happening. Well, I, but it's more than that. Like that that Star Wars game that came out last year kind of ran like butt. Like I played it on the PC and I played it on the PlayStation, and I was like, I thought the whole reason for me to spend five hundred dollars on a next gen console was to get sixty frames per second on everything, right? But apparently not. <laughs> um, uh, I just last week I played the um, that new Alone in the Dark game yeah. um which was pretty good actually and um uh it ran kind of like butt on the pc and then it kind of it did better on the playstation i don't know it's just it's i spend a lot of time these days looking at like um digital foundry videos to try to figure out like <laughs> what's gonna run where it's just it's such a good time for steam to have their return policy because it means that i can buy something on steam and go does it run okay no give me a refund i'm gonna buy it on the playstation instead so uh so you can't you so you have you, it falls on you to run these tests uh, for the most part because a lot of the places <laughs> like digital foundry test pc stuff a lot uh, like on 4080s, right? Oh, like, that's a good point. You have to see if it's going to run well on your PC, right? Not just PC versus console. So I yeah, check check out the little yeah. video there. That's the that's the fucking get you out of yes. there. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna it's... get Shield Bash because it's more useful. Uh, and then I want Bertuxen to have. Uh, f oh, okay. Let's just get this. So yeah, I can I can level up. You get this DCP, which is just like. Uh, points for doing everything and see so that you can just spend it on like these augments and skills and stuff and uh i just wanted to get a few before we set out for the capital so now garfieldius is looking look a little yeah. more, little more like himself <laughs> out of the way here you you're too old you're gonna slow me down come on let's go we gotta go to come the capital <laughs> come on we gotta me. go get this giant ass sword and the badass helmet with some horns yep I guess that's going to be next episode, though. Oh, yes. Actually, speaking of which, we are a little bit over time. Okay, okay, okay. There you go. God, he started... <laughs> Cranky! <laughs> Controllers all vibrate and shit. Yeah, so our uh, we're going to have to to wrap it up, and then uh, tomorrow we'll have to see how far we can get. Uh, I'm trying to kind of... I'm trying not to lollygag, but uh, this is a, a pretty big game, but I have played this opening part a whole bunch of times, so... Well, uh, you know, Garfielius has always been very goal oriented. Yes, yes. Uh, anyway, hey everybody, like and subscribe. Let us know what you think down in the comments. And then, hey, after you get done there, maybe you go to patreon.com forward slash rage select. Help us out. Kick us some bucks. Oof. Get some bonus videos in return. Um, yeah, come to the Discord server. We got ourselves a, a Power World server that you could uh, jump on. We've got the bonus videos. Um, Right now, Amanda and I are playing all the way through Alan Wake 2. So if you want to uh, see some Alan Wake 2, we got that for you. Um, oh, what the fuck? What is that? <laughs> is that the Horn of Gondor? What is <laughs> <laughs> the horn has been sounded. You must answer, Garfelius. Oh, my gosh. That's the Goblin Horn of Gondor. The Horn of Goblin Door. Uh, oh, jeez. Garfelius is like, Psh. I'd known it was that kind of party. Oh. Um, 
Anyway, yeah, patreon.com, uh, come help us out. You know, if you've got a few bucks to spare, I know that times are, are lean right now, but hey, it's how we keep this, uh, we keep this train going. So uh, this is how we pay for me to spend roughly 10 hours last week uh, making Garfelius and testing him on a variety of different platforms in order to bring you this mayhem. Um, I'm just really glad you've got your priorities straight. Yeah, you know, dating? Ah, come on. I got a cat that, man to make. <laughs> how's that retirement fund going for you? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to talk about that. Oh, <laughs> uh, Because I'm going to end up making a really bad joke. Uh, Jason, where can the people find you when you're not over here helping me guide our boy through uh, his latest adventure? Oh, it's a little quiet over there right now because I'm busy, but you can uh, keep up with me over on uh, YouTube youtube.com forward slash the strangerous i'll be making more noise there soon cool uh yeah with that we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up but we'll be back tomorrow with another brand new video uh bye everybody